Hi, it's David here. I've just got the RX receive side of uh, the SM1000 going and I wanted to show you all. Um, so this is the SM1000 sitting on the, uh, the workbench here. A um, little speaker attached which we'll show you in a minute. Now uh, on my laptop here I've got uh, FreeDV running and it's just uh, playing some canned audio. So uh, let's switch the power on and uh, see how we go. Bench power supply. Oh, there it is. Uh, to decode it, and uh, so this is sort of an interesting thing for me and for you. I guess we neither of us have ever tried this, and uh, it'll be. I hope you can hear that all right. It sounds a bit better and louder when I put the uh, a bit of an enclosure around the speaker. Um, so that's just uh, the free DVs coming out of the laptop. Um, I'm just using this uh, little audio cable instead of a radio, but uh, pretty much the same thing. And that shows it working. One thing I really like is how fast it boots. So compare this to a regular PC. Power off. Power on. Bang. It's uh, working within a few hundred milliseconds of applying power. Try doing that with your laptop or even with an embedded system with an operating system. Um, so this uh, control over here is the volume control. I didn't have the right size component to mount on the board, so I just used whatever I had. You might be able to hear a bit of high-pitched fan noise and low-pitched fan noise in the background. That's nothing to do with the SM1000. It's just uh, my laptop and, and the scope. Um, let's have a look at uh, this. Okay, so that's um, a digital output that shows... Whoops, I'll just switch this thing off. It's making too much noise. Um, that shows the... Oh, of course, I can't run it if I do that. Let's try that. Okay, so that's the actual amount of time it's spent processing the receive signal, so the demodulator and the codec 2 decoder. Um, you can see it varies in time, that's because some frames, the modem operates at twice the frame rate of the codec, so sometimes it just runs the modem, other times it runs the modem uh, and the decoder, the speech decoder. Now if we look at that on the envelope setting, we can see the, um, get a feel for the uh, you know, maximum minimum times. It's running a bit less than 50%. Now. It's meant to be running about 90%, so I don't know if I've messed something up here, but um, it's running at about twice as fast as I thought it would be uh, when I was running um, doing the profiling of the code. So not quite sure what's going on there, but I guess if it's going to be a mistake, it's a good one. Uh, okay, that's it then. Bye.